There are over 100 billion Earth-like planets out there in the Milky Way, but we haven't found any aliens yet. Where are they? Are we really alone in the universe? This is the great silence. When you think about it, we should have found some kind of life already, right? There are so many stars and planets out there that it just seems statistically impossible that we re the only ones. Scientists estimate that there could be as many as 100 billion Earth-like planets with the potential for life. And if life arises independently more than once, then the number of civilizations capable of communication should be much greater than one. So where are they? Why haven't we heard from them? This is known as the Fermi Paradox. It's named after the Italian physicist Enrico Fermi, who was one of the first to contemplate the issue. He said that if there were extraterrestrial life, then surely we would have seen or heard something by now. There's a famous quote that's attributed to him, though it might not actually be a quote at all. It goes like this. Where are they? If there are extraterrestrials, why aren't they visiting us? Or as Fermi put it more scientifically, the great silence. There are a few possible solutions to this paradox. One is that there are civilizations out there, but they're keeping quiet. They might be deliberately avoiding detection because they don't want to be found. Or maybe they re-not broadcasting their signals into space because they re-worried about what might happen if they rediscovered. This is similar to the Prime Directive that S. often cited in science fiction stories where an advanced civilization is allowed to develop naturally without interference from other civilizations. Perhaps this is how it should be for all civilizations. Maybe the universe works best if each species is allowed to evolve and advance on its own. Another solution is that civilizations tend to destroy themselves. Maybe there were lots of civilizations out there in the past, but they all ended up destroying themselves through war or natural disaster or some other means. If civilizations are fragile things that tend to collapse, then it would explain why we haven't found any. And then there's the possibility that intelligent life just doesn't arise independently very often. Maybe we're truly unique in the universe, or at least unique enough that it's highly unlikely that there are any duplicates. If that's the case, then it would mean that we're even more special than we thought. So where are they? The answer to this question has kept scientists and philosophers awake at night for decades. It's one of the biggest unsolved mysteries of our time. But it's also one of the most exciting, because if we can solve it, if we can figure out where they are, and why we haven't found them yet, then we'll know that we're not alone in the universe. And that knowledge could change everything. For more videos of Cosmos in a minute, follow our channel.